fun. So, I have been wanting to review different products that I find um, at the store, edible products, and I finally am doing it. So, um, I'm starting off with these KITTO, I'm guessing Keto. Um, they're plant powered super fuel drinks. And I got the chocolate maca. Um, the matcha moringa. And vanilla ashwagandha. So I really like these because um, they're labeled cool and because they have organic ingredients. So um, I'll start off with this vanilla ashwagandha. It has coconut milk, um, which is water and coconut cream, both organic. It has pea protein, vanilla extract, ashwagandha, rose extract, maple extract, Himalayan pink salt, vanilla bean, monk fruit, and cinnamon oil. So this combo sounds so good to me. Um, you can see the vanilla bean down there. So um, it has 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and seven grams of MCT. I like it. I can definitely taste the cinnamon more than anything, the cinnamon oil. Um, and the monk fruit is, makes it pretty sweet. I'm not sure if I can taste the rose extract in there or the coconut milk. But, oh, I can taste the vanilla. So, to me, it tastes like a milky vanilla, cinnamon um, drink. I can't taste the rose, or the maple, or the coconut milk, but I guess, you know, that's what makes it milky, but it doesn't really taste like coconut milk. Um, so this thing is, I think, $4.99. And would I buy it again? Maybe. I would maybe buy it again. <laughs> I wouldn't like for sure go buy it. Or like, it's not one of those products that I'm like, never again. Like I'm gonna return it right now, even though I just tasted it and didn't like it. So I would give it like four out of five stars. Or a B, if I give it a grade. Okay, so let's do the matcha moringa. I have had like raw moringa powder that I've taken just with water and it is like horrific. So I'm wondering how the moringa is gonna taste in this. So this one has um, coconut milk, which is the water and coconut cream, the pea protein, matcha green tea, spirulina, moringa, Himalayan pink salt, vanilla extract, monk fruit, and cinnamon oil. So the difference is the spirulina, the matcha, and the moringa, and the other ingredients are the same. Also 20 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, and 7 grams MCT. So, let's see what this one tastes like. I can definitely taste the moringa, but it's not like horrible. I can taste the matcha too. Um, I feel like in this one I can even taste the pea protein. And again, it's not very like, it doesn't really taste much like coconut milk, but it is milky because of it. 
Um, this one is less sweet to me, even though it has the same amount of sugar, but it just comes off less sweet. Um, and, um, well, that makes it more bland. I would, even though it's like more bland, I still like it. And it's not amazing, but I like it. And same, I would maybe buy it again. Um, like if I had, if I was really hungry and I just needed to drink something quick, um, I would probably run in the store and get this. Or the other one, but it's not something I would like crave or like keep in stock in my fridge. Um, I also give it like 4 out of 5 stars or like a B if I were to grade it. And the last one is the chocolate maca. Um, also 20 grams protein, 1 gram sugar, and 7 grams MCT. This one has coconut milk, um, the same base water and coconut cream, pea protein, cocoa, vanilla extract, chocolate extract, maca root, Himalayan pink salt, monk fruit, and cinnamon oil. And yeah, the ingredients on these are all organic. They have the little asterisk with the organic at the bottom. Okay, shake it and see what this one tastes like. This one is like less milky. It it's almost like watery. Like if you made a hot chocolate with water instead of milk. Um, that's kind of exactly what this tastes like. And like the cocoa is the bitterness is like kind of like an aftertaste that comes out more than any other ingredient yeah I wouldn't really say this one is milky it, it tastes more watery and this one is my least favorite I would give this one like I don't know two out of five or maybe even one and I would never buy this one again um, I mean, I could drink it, it's not horrible, but it's kind of bad. So, it was really fun reviewing these, I don't know why, I just love um, trying new products and reviewing them, and now I get to do it for my little YouTube. Um, yeah, I have other stuff I want to try, so I will look into um, doing those reviews. Um, in the nearby future. So thanks for watching and um, for supporting my nonsense video. <laughs> um, hope you have a great day. Bye!